lovelies. So today I would like to share my experience with applying for disability. Um, this is not going to be a how-to video like A, B, and C to get disability, but it's just going to be my opinions on different avenues and what I experienced and how I went about getting disability. So pretty much in my mind, there's three options. You can either try to get disability yourself, you can hire a lawyer, or you can use an advocate. Um, probably most of you guys are a little bit confused on what an advocate could be, but most of us are familiar with either doing it ourselves or hiring a lawyer. Doing it yourself is crazy to me. Like I, cannot imagine doing it myself. I remember I was talking to my mom because she helped me a lot with our my forms and it was insanity. I mean there's just so much stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of papers that you need to fill out and all, so much information that you need to gather from people and um, so if you're with it um, enough to do that then Praise hallelujah to you, but having fibro and barely being able to remember what I ate for breakfast, that was not an option for me. Plus, I don't didn't know anything at the time about how to go about doing it, where do you go, what it is, I had no idea. So when I was not able to work, um, I decided I'm going to call the lawyers that are on TV all the time during the afternoon that are like, we can get you disability because you're out of work. They didn't call me back. And when they did call me back, it was like ages. And um, I don't think because I was so young that they thought that maybe I was a good case for them. I don't know, but I just didn't really have a good experience with trying to get a hold of a lawyer also is a very emotional thing at least it was for me um, because I loved working and I mean of course when you're working you're like oh I wish I didn't have to work but when you can't work I missed it and that's what I wanted to do with my life like I never wanted to get married have kids like I wanted to work and uh, so for me, it was very emotional and like talking to a lawyer about these things is kind of hard because they're like all about facts and you're kind of more like easing into things. Um, so that was not another avenue that I really felt comfortable with. I was just surfing the net and I came across a site for Allsop, A-L-L-S-U-P dot com and I called them. I just, I don't know why, I just gave them a call and they were really kind. Just very sweet people that seemed to understand that I was going through something that was very confusing for me. I needed help and I needed someone to be gentle with me. And I sat with them while they talked to Social Security to see if I was even eligible because there's lots of different things that you need to discuss to see if you're even eligible. So they asked me a bunch of questions that were very easy for me to answer. They weren't like, you need to go through your records and look for how many doctor appointments you went to or whatever. This was just like the initial thing. And they did that all just I mean, no money or anything was discussed at that point. Um, just figuring out because I was so young and they only take Social Security from the age of 21. Even though I have been working since I was 15, which really sucks because that's six years that they're missing, but only since I was 21. So there was only a few years um, when I applied for Social Security, but I, the Social Security Department said that I was eligible. So at that point, then they explained their process and it is very much um, like facts wise or money wise, very similar to a lawyer situation. Um, and it's, they take part of, um, okay, so you 
have a couple, couple years and while you're applying that you don't work. And so if you are eligible and you receive disability, you get back pay for those couple years. And then a lawyer or an advocate will take a percentage of that back pay. So um, that's what they did. But what they did on top of what a lawyer would do is they deal solely in this. And they, um, they actually go through your forms and highlight what you need to. And they fill out what they're allowed to fill out. Then they just leave what you have to fill out, which is so beyond helpful. I cannot even tell you because even with things highlighted and being able to call them whenever you want, it still is really confusing to be honest. But that's also another thing like with a lawyer, you have to set up an appointment, you have a meeting with them. If you have questions, you have to wait until your next meeting with them. With Allsup, you can just call them up and ask them anytime. Um, I had, and I spoke to my mom about today, we had a wonderful experience with them. I completely, completely ref would refer anyone that is thinking about um, trying to get disability or going through that process just because I feel like it, they made the process so much easier on me, like emotionally um, and mentally, uh, that I just, like, I almost like hope that people use them because um, they really are an advocate for you. They understand what you're going through and that you do have difficulties or your particular difficulties, like I said to them, you know, I have fibro fog and this and this, and they really understand that and they write it all down and they're very kind. It still is a huge process and they do, of course, talk to you about, I mean, almost 100%. There are, of course, a few people that get disability the first time they um, go through it, but almost 100% they're going to deny you the first time because it just kind of weeds out people that are not doing it for the right intentions and people that kind of just give up after that. But um, once they have all the information, it's a lot easier to resubmit. Um, I think it was about a year process of submitting everything and getting all the information and then being denied and then Usually they say like up to a year after that because usually applying for disabilities around a two year process. But um, I feel like it was just a few months after that. I think the whole process was like a year and a half, a little year and a, a quarter maybe, um, which was actually very short for the process. I don't know, that could be shocking to some people. I remember when they first told me how long things take, I was just like, what? I got like a month, you know? Um, I got all of my back pay and I gave my percentage to Alsop. Then they also, they all, the offer, um, you can pay, I think it's like $100 or something, something ridiculously cheap to have your own advisor for Medicare and Medicaid and all your options and they'll give you all of your options and they find the best things for the actual medication that you're on and um, they'll give you like your top five options and some are completely free. Uh, I think my top three were completely free. Um, so that was amazing as well that they offered that and I could just go through them as at the same time. Um, they set up all my banking information for it to go straight through. Um, now I don't get that much it pays for pretty much my medication that's about it but um, the longer you work the more that Social Security you're gonna get obviously per year um, if you did do also they do a referral program I actually didn't know this but uh, recently I told a friend about it and she told me they she gave my name Emily Nolan and uh, they said that they if um, I think if, if they get you signed, not signed up, but like if they, if they win your case or whatever, then the referee gets $50, $50 or something. That's like a lot of freaking money. But, um, so if you end up doing it, make sure that, um, you spread the word. Not only, I mean, not, who cares about the money, honestly. 
it's really like just a spoony life kind of thing like spoony friends like sick friend to sick friend like I honestly like my mom and I just were looking at each other and we we're like I don't know how we would have done that and things were so difficult before I had the measly check that I get each month um, because it really is not that much money but it just helps so much to just be able to cover the cost of my medications you know just that alone um, just frees up a little bit just helps a little bit um, but yeah I wholeheartedly recommend I don't know how, about other advocate groups I just know that all suck was amazing they have a website you can go to it I'll link it down below um, and just give them a call and ask them um, it's not anything really formal when you first call them so it's kind of nice you can just give them a call and say hey I heard about you and I'm interested to see if I'm eligible for a disability because I have not been able to work or whatever it may be um, if you have any questions please leave a comment down below if you know of any other advocate groups that are kind of similar to what I'm talking about if you did go through with disability um, please comment that down below or if you found that you really enjoyed working with a lawyer or doing it on your own or have a different experience please share that because it's not something that people really talk about that much and it's probably in the top three most asked questions for me is to, could you do a video on disability because people don't want to talk about it I know it's like very sh like kind of you feel shameful but um, you guys know I talk about everything and if you guys want me to make a video about whatever embarrassing ridiculous thing I will do it so um, if, it, if I can help you guys in any way I have no shame about that so um, all stop amazing I wish you guys luck if you are not able to work I feel for you um, and in the comments down below please share your thoughts and advice for people and um, I hope you guys have a very pretty, pretty stress-free day. Um, <clears throat> and I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Mm -hmm.